It's Beer and Food O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Bragdy Tweetlaw's Little Red Cow. It's coming in at 3.7% ABV, silver bottle cap. We'll get it out in a moment, but we're pairing it with something quite significant. The McDonald's Big Mac's recipe has not been changed in 51 years. They just launched the Big Mac with bacon. Look at that. So first of all, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, I had to catch that one. Smells good. This brewery is based in Traforest. Just on the edge of the south edge of the South Wales Valleys, Traforest. Uh, nice looking beer, two finger, slightly off white head, good levels of carbonation. Amber, dark amber in colour, quite clear to look at. It looks good, it smells good as well. Yeah, it smells really good, lovely and hoppy. Let's get into this Big Mac. So, yeah, the Big Mac's not changed in 51 years. A significant moment then, you know, is with the fact that they've changed this recipe. There we go. Let's dive in. Mm. I do like a Big Mac, I really do. Um, but with bacon, that's just giving it a little bit of an edge. Mm. What's it like with the beer? Oh, really good. Really good. That crisp malt, the biscuit malt coming through. It's hoppy on the back end. A little bit of sweetness to begin with. Paired with the burger. Oh yeah, that's something else. So McDonald's then, um, you've probably tried a Big Mac, probably, unless you're a vegan. Patty, beef patty, bread, beef patty, cheese, and then the added significance of some bacon, and it's made a real difference, it's, it's added some, it's added an extra layer of meatiness to it. You know, the bacon's nice and salty. And it goes really well with the Big Mac sauce, the famous kind of Big Mac sauce that I think it's tomato ketchup mixed with mayonnaise and there's something else in there as well. But that classic Big Mac sauce goes really well with the bacon. The cheese goes well with the bacon, the beef goes well with the bacon, yeah everything goes well with the bacon of course. The bread goes well with bacon. Who doesn't like a bacon sandwich? So everybody's winning here with this added bacon in the Big Mac. And of course, Big Macs are always messy. Always messy. If you're watching this in America, you might be thinking, okay, this, is, this has already happened in America. Um, but this is launch day in the UK. This is the first time you can get these Big Macs with, with, with bacon in the UK. Uh, what's the date today? The 28th of January 2019 and they're going through till about the 17th of March. So guys, go out, get yourself a beer, get yourself a, a nice Big Mac. Well, I mean, it's got a match here. 
Big Macs are though, isn't it? Uh, would I prefer to eat a Big Mac on its own or with bacon? I'm going to say with bacon. Rating then for the Big Mac. Massive fan. Massive, massive fan of Big Macs. Always have been, always will. Also a big fan of Chicken McSandwiches. I know some of you kind of question in the comments box why I eat McDonald's. I've got a family, I've got three kids, guys. So if I want to go out for a meal or something like that, if I go into town, into Cardiff, do a bit of shopping, it's generally nine times out of ten we either go in Burger King or McDonald's. It's just unfeasible. It's unfeasible to, to go to Cardiff and say once a week shopping with the family, day out, and go to like a la carte restaurants it's just you know you're talking it goes into the hundreds straight away so uh you know you, you you tighten your belt a little bit especially when you have family and you 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 grab a big mac the kids love it play with the toys i love it the wife likes it well she's a vegan now so she don't like it so much anymore what does she have she says chips and stuff and of course if you go to spain you can have a big mac with a beer Big Mac with bacon, 8 out of 10. The beer for 3.7% ABV. I've not covered the beer very much. I'm going to cover it a bit more. But it's a real drinkable beer. It's really lovely. It's really juicy. It's really refreshing. There's a nice malty backbone. There's a lovely hop character on the back end. It's nice and... I'm going to say New World Hops. I'm going to say... Maybe some orange peel. Yeah, jammy, tart-like flavours coming through. Lovely beer. Great for a lunchtime. I'm doing this on my lunchtime. 3.7% um, beer and a burger. Yeah, that's that's great stuff. The, the beer, I'm going to rate it. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Really, really good, tidy, solid little beer, that. Little Red Cow. Look at that, I've got burger sauce all over it now. <laughs> little Red Cow by Bragdy Tweetlol. That's the name of the brewery. Check it out. Okay, thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. If you like the beer reviews, please uh, subscribe. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.